translating the nephal reciprocal. So this is the third way that Ross talks about how to translate nephal, the third basic way. We had passive, and we had re uh, reflexive, and now we have reciprocal. An example of that would be davar. Now, here, this davar on the cal, he spoke in actual fact, it never occurs in the perfect in the cal. I'll just put this in brackets here. In the cal, it shows up uh, just a few times as a infinitive construct and a participle. Um, it's mostly in the pl, which is the binyan we haven't come to yet, but that's how this verb is normally used, deber. Anyway, but um, in the in the nifal, in the plural, nidberu, this could be, so it's plural, so they. They spoke. They spoke to whom? Well, they spoke with one another or to each other, something like that. With one another. So that would be a reciprocal use of this word. Um, and again, context is what's going to tell you. But uh, here you have multiple subjects and they're talking with one another. Of course, reciprocals are, or a, a, a reciprocal use of a nifal can only occur in the plural because you need to have multiple subjects. One other example of this, we have laham, and we dealt with this before. It means to fight, he fought, although it only occurs four times in the cal. It's usually in the nifal. Um, so it'd be a nilham in, in the nifal. But I'll just write it down here. He fought. G-H-T, he fought. Now this would be, they fought one another. Or at least that would be a reciprocal use. They oops, they fought one another. So again, this is something that can only happen in the plural because you need to have multiple subjects. Um, and context will tell you. It could just simply be they fought as well. But uh, context and a dictionary. Because a dictionary is basically the thoughts of someone else who's gone through and looked at the text and said, okay, it shows up in this form, in this form, in this meaning, in this meaning. And uh, it's a quick way into what these words mean. So we have three basic ways to translate nifal. We have the passive of the cal, that is the predominant way. We have the reflexive, which is where a subject acts on itself explicitly, um, and we have the reciprocal, which is where multiple subjects are acting on one another. And as I said before, there are nuances, there are slight variations on these three basic categories, and so you can refer to your dictionary to uh, see what those are.